So we're still talking about the koshas. Yep. Right, the, the sheaths or the layers. Yesterday was the physical body. Mm -hmm. Today is the subtle, more subtle. Energy body. Energy body. Yep. The chakras. The winds the, not the, uh, and the nadis. Well, this is just the koshas. No, I mean what it, it encompasses. Oh, gotcha. The subtle stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the chakras, the bayous, and the nadis. So, vital energy. Vidam mudra. It's pretty easy. <laughs> I think this is one that we've liked. Yeah. Yeah. So it's uh, it's as simple as this: cupping the hands about twelve inches, uh, palms face one another, about twelve inches apart. And the idea is to just, as you breathe, feel the hands move away. You know, as you inhale, expand, and as they exhale, they come back. So we'll come back to that. But let's just warm the hands up with the fingers and the wrists, even though we're not using them that much today. We'll cup the hands, bring them down in front of the solar plexus, about 12 inches apart. And relax the shoulders back and down. You can close your eyes if that's comfortable. Check in with the physical body, see how it feels this morning. Notice how you feel in general. Check in with your breath. Maybe notice the hands moving away and coming back together. Vitta Mudra, gesture of vital energy for Pranamaya Kosha, the energy body. From Mudras for Healing and Transformation by Joseph and Lillian LePage. Prana is the life force energy that sustains all of creation, including our physical bodies. The Pranamaya Kosha is our dimension of vital energy, the manifestation of of the life force within our own being. It encompasses the three facets of our subtle anatomy, the chakras, energy centers, the prana vayus, energy currents, and the nadis, energy channels. The health of our subtle anatomy depends on the quantity and quality of the life force energy we receive, as well as the as well as the extent to which it flows freely. We receive prana in the form of fresh air and water, fresh natural food, natural surroundings, and sunlight. The health of our subtle anatomy is also influenced by our environment and interactions. For this reason, Regular participation in spiritual activity is recommended. The breath is our most essential source of prana. The way we breathe affects the quantity and quality of prana and subsequently our overall health and vitality. Mudra practice directs prana to specific areas of the body, releasing energetic blockages and reestablishing the free flow of prana to both our subtle and physical anatomy. Vittam means vital energy, and Vittam Mudra directs breath, awareness, and energy into the pelvis and abdomen. As we deepen our awareness of these areas, we experience them as an inner spring of vitality whose energy can be channeled throughout our entire being 
as a vehicle for health, healing, and awakening. Vitta Mudra activates the qualities of the water element, including fluidity and flexibility, supporting the free flow of vital energy within both the subtle and physical bodies. The rhythmic abdominal breathing cultivated by this gesture, together with the activation of the water element, support the health of the reproductive and urinary systems. So as you are holding Vitta Mudra, allow for some moments to attune and notice any feelings and sensations that may be awakened by this gesture. Notice your breath and how it is gently directed into your pelvis and abdomen, allowing you to experience this area of your being as an inner spring of vital energy. Take several breaths and sense how your abdomen rises and falls in synchrony with your breathing, naturally deepening your connection to your own inner spring. Experience your hands as an extension of your rhythmic breathing, expanding away from each other with each inhalation and softening toward each other with each exhaling breath. As your hands, breath and abdomen move in synchrony. Allow for some time to sense vibrant energy awakening within your inner spring. As this energy expands, you are able to channel it into each area of your being, reestablishing the free flow of prana, the life force energy, optimizing your level of health and vitality. As you inhale, rest your awareness within your inner spring. As you exhale, channel prana down into your legs and feet, nourishing these areas with vital energy. Take several breaths and sense your legs and feet expanding and softening energetically in synchrony with your abdominal breathing. Now, with your next inhaling breath, return to the comfort of your inner spring. And as you exhale, sense vital energy infusing your low back and buttocks completely. Sense these areas pulsing in synchrony with your rhythmic breathing, 
allowing them to be nourished with vital energy. Now as you inhale, return to your inner spring. And with your exhaling breath, allow prana to naturally infuse your solar plexus, chest, mid, and upper back. Experience these areas expanding and releasing in synchrony with your rhythmic abdominal breathing. Bathing them with vital energy. with your legs and tor torso nourished completely. Now allow the life force energy to be channeled into your shoulders, arms, and hands, filling your upper extremities. Take several natural breaths and sense these areas expanding and releasing in synchrony with your rhythmic breathing, infusing them with vital energy. With your next inhalation, return to the vitality of your inner spring. And as you exhale, allow your neck and head to be bathed in life force energy. Experience these areas gently expanding and releasing in synchrony with your rhythmic breathing nourishing them with prana. Now, allow for some time the life force energy to radiate outward from your inner spring, sensing your entire being expanding and softening energetically in synchrony with your rhythmic breathing. Tune to your energetic body. You can repeat to yourself. As life force energy flows freely throughout my being, I experience optimal vitality.
your own time when you're ready. You can slowly release mudra. A few moments, a few breaths here to feel that energetic nourishment. And then we'll join the palms of the hands together, beating up the heart. May I, I be well. well. May, May I, I be happy and content. May I be free from danger and suffering. May, May I be filled with, with loving kindness. May you be well. May you be happy and content. May you be free from danger and suffering. May you be filled with loving kindness. May all beings be well. May all beings be happy and content. May all beings be free from danger and suffering. May all beings be filled with loving kindness. Thank you for sharing this mudra with us. Namaste. Thank you. Welcome. Nancy, you're on mute. We can't hear you. Nancy. Twice my hands were open instead of inside. <laughs> receiving instead of putting the other two to the left side of the I was like, all of a sudden, I realized my hands were like this. <laughs> I think I. No. Gravitationally, my hands opened up. Yeah. Yeah. I think mine did too. <laughs> <laughs> I think Barbara, this is one of Barbara's. Uh, you like this one, right? Yeah. Can you spell it for me? Is it two T's or one? Two T's. V I T T A M. You're welcome. <laughs> it's interesting how in the picture that I put up, the, the hands are, the fingers are facing down instead of facing forward. It doesn't say either way. It could be. I guess we could, depending on where you're at. This is much more natural, I feel, to have that like that. But it's interesting how the in the picture that it they looks show more the like, hands, yeah, it does look it more looks like, like the fingers are pointing downward, which is kind of seems a little awkward, right? It, no, it, maybe like no. I think it's just how, just the idea of it, yeah, opening and closing. However, yeah. you're gonna feel that. Yeah, I guess so. Mm -hmm. Well, I hope you're filled with vital energy today. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy your pranamaya. Kosha. <laughs> <laughs> yes, pranamaya kosha. <laughs> Energy body. All right, everyone. See you tomorrow. Bye. Have a great day. <laughs> Enjoy. Bye, Internet. <laughs>